the opening day of the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. This is the shortest running festival here at Epcot this year as it only runs through February 22nd. Today we're going to take a look at some of the new festival offerings and have a fun artful day. Recently Epcot unveiled this brand new entranceway fountain and along with it a wide open entryway into the park leading you straight up to Spaceship Earth. I picked up a festival passport and I'm so happy to see that the Voices of Liberty will be returning with a brand new show called the Disney Songbook. I see Art Defying Gravity is back. One of the offerings I was wondering about is the expression section, the paint by number mural. I remember last year how much fun I had being part of this and it's back, yay. You start out at the expression section booth to pick up your equipment and then you get in line and get ready to paint. The brushes are right over here. When you get to the mural, you're gonna paint five squares with the number that is on top of your lid. Okay, what color do we want? Let's see. We'll do a nice blue. How's that? There we go. All right, thank you. They're giving you a panel based on a number. So we got number three here. So that's how they're kind of socially distancing people. Oh, <laughs> So we got number six, so you find number six and you paint, what did she say, five? Yep. Five panels, right? Okay. So let's go. Some nice paint on there. I like to try to pick a few panels in a row. Oh, because it's so satisfying to just do that. So we got four in a row here. Let's give them a nice, nice coat. Their little dudes. And then they said you can do five, so I'll do this one too. Done it! I've made my mark! So, <laughs> Nate, my friend Nate is here with me, and we have both made a little bit of a mess. It's, uh, but I don't think we're the only ones. Everyone, it's just part of the process, it's part of the art. You can't make some art without cracking some eggs, as they say. Then when you're done, this goes here, that goes there. Definitely gonna have to wash my hands, but they are covered in art. This is our prize for helping to complete it, and this is what the mural is gonna be. Probably should have looked at that before we started, but now we know. That's what we helped to create. Look at these cute figment photo ops. So there's one for shorter people, one for taller people. Let's see if it works. One little spark of imagination. I feel it, I definitely feel it. I do wanna say that these are perfect selfie levels. So if, you're, if you wanna take a selfie with them, it lines up perfectly. One thing I wanna note is that the paint by numbers closes at 5 p.m. right now. So even though Epcot is open until 9 p.m. or 10 p.m., whatever time it's open until, if you wanna do the paint by numbers and make your mark on that mural, you want to do it before 5 p.m. Unless the hours change, they could, but right now, it's 5. One of the most popular elements of the Festival of the Arts are these photo ops where you can get inside the art and get your photo taken. And in case you want to know what you're supposed to do in here, it tells you, pose like Venus in this one. So that's a tricky pose. Let me try it out. You know, just kind of, just kind of, here we go. This is, this is my best I can do. Oh, see, right then the hair blows just like hers and you just do the... Oh, wind, I am Venus. Feels pretty good to be art. <laughs> The deconstructed dishes are always popular, but this is not gonna be our first stop today. We're gonna keep on moving. The Disney Artist Galleries are out where you can buy original artwork. Hey Belle, Aurora, Jasmine. And Snow White in the back. Is going by. We're gonna start out at the Masterpiece Kitchen here next to the Canada Pavilion. Artistically plated dishes featuring the world's finest masterpiece ingredients. Yay. All right, we just met some friends, Trisha and Drea, who took a Polaroid of us, and it's 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 developing right now. So <laughs> I can't wait me. to see it. Don't shake it. Don't shake it. Oh, it's doing it. It's doing it. I was I was trying to shake it. You know, like back in the day, used to do that. Also, here is our food, and I got the wild mushroom risotto. 
and the vanilla, rose water, and pistachio panna cotta. It's very windy out, my food is blowing away, my fork blew away, so we're just getting into this rose. Here we go. You see how it's got some like jelly in the middle? It's got glittery jelly on the side and pistachio crumbles. Mmm, okay. This is in the category of things that are as good as they look. It's actually really delicious. I'm devouring it, like it's really good. The bar is set high now. Yeah, wow. I'm surprised, you know, often desserts like this are so pretty and they look really nice, but they just taste okay. But this is actually great. I devoured it, it's so good. It's got like layers of flavor, it's got like a jelly jam in the middle. It had all those little bits of the glittery jam and pistachio on the outside. It's light, it's lemony, it's creamy, it's fluffy, it's like a whipped light cream. There's a tiny little hint of like lemoniness, but it's not overpowering at all. I dug into the risotto a little bit. Half of the cheese that was on top blew away in the wind and the cheese is so good. And I also let it get a little bit cold while I was dealing with the rose and all of that, but it is very delicious. It's very light, the sauce that's on it's really good. The cheese is good, just don't let your cheese blow away and you'll be golden. It's really, really good dish, I like it. Also, look in the middle, there's mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Masterpiece Kitchen was all home runs. Everything was really delicious. So good, great way to start. The World Showplace Building has become an important part of every festival here at Epcot and the Festival of the Arts is no different. There's entertainment and food and cool stuff going in and I also can't wait to see how it's decorated. So let's go inside. This big blue building used to be a temporary structure and lately it's become a permanent part of every festival. All right, let's see how it's decorated inside. Last time I was in here was all Christmas. Pretty art booths. Cool. The acrobatic performance takes place up on this stage and there's piano players. Oh, look at his amazing starry night jacket. That's beautiful. Please welcome Art Defying Gravity. I'm gonna get the prime steak tartare, definitely the pistachio cake. Well, let's see what else. I love having entertainment and music and all this cool stuff going on in the show place while we're eating and hanging and it's awesome. Wow. Oh my gosh, amazing. Thank you. Thank you, that's the steak tartare. The pistachio cake is part of the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. You can do this at your leisure over several visits or all in one day if you wish and get each of the items from here and get a stamp in your passport. So we just got one. The pistachio cake comes with cherry mousse and morello cherries. And in my effort to carry two of these plus the steak tartare over to the table, I dropped one of the cherries. So I'll take that one. Nate can have the one with the two cherries, but he is coming over also because we, we did a divide and conquer strategy where he went to get some food, I went to get some food, and that way we can try as much as possible. I just went in for the assist because I saw that Nate was getting a feast to our divide and conquer strategy seems to have worked. Nate went to the festival favorites booth and he got two of the Remy's ratatouille so that we can each have one that looks so good. He also got the lemon blood orange tart. He also got a flight of the beers, the Three Daughters Strawberry Blonde, Nitro, the MIA Beer Company Milk Stout, and the Breckenridge Nitro Vanilla Porter, and he got a coffee old-fashioned cocktail. This looks awesome. We are truly feasting festival of the arts style. I think we have both decided that we're gonna start with the ratatouille and we're gonna be eating the desserts and drinks along the way. So like if you had ratatouille before, it does look all like different, but this is exactly how they use it and how they make it in the movie. So that is so festive. I'm just gonna dive let's right in. Let's get in, let's get in there, let's get in. This is a delicious zucchini dish with like a tomato based sauce and it's really good. It's like tangy and light. <laughs> There's some like nice eggplant in here. It's a very simple, fresh dish. It's seasoned really nicely. I'm gonna tell you guys a little trick to get the beers out of these things because they're tricky. Push the cardboard down. Bam, pops right out. 
So I went and I actually got the stout. Jackie's drinking on the strawberry. Yeah, I got the strawberry. No, cheers. It is a beer, though, right? It's really good. It's yeah, not a cider. it's not a cider. Yeah, it's a, it's a ah, beer. It's actually really delicious. Oh, good, good. Yeah, I took a sip already because you know. How oh, fancy you! Like, Looks like this tartare has a quail egg on top. Am I supposed to? It's in its shell, though. I don't know what to do with that, so we'll just put that to the side. Put it on this nice bread. Maybe get some of the cream and other stuff around and just just put it all on one nice bite here. Let's try that out. There's pickled vegetables. You guys know how I feel about pickled vegetables. I love pickled vegetables. Tartare is a dish that isn't for everyone. It's like almost raw, but it's, you know, it's like sushi. It's like steak, sushi steak. So it's definitely not for everyone, but I do like it in small doses. I wouldn't want like a huge helping of it. So it's perfect just that much. And as far as the beers go, we, we both like, hey, thank you. We both like the strawberries and we both like the stout, but there was one in the middle, I think it was the vanilla, the nitro vanilla porter that neither of us really cared for. It kind of had a weird taste to it, we didn't love it, but we're meeting a ton of friends in here, so if we met you today, thank you for saying hi. We're gonna try the pistachio cake here. Let's try this. Oh, it looks really nice. It looks really fluffy and nice. Nate says to mix the, ooh, look at that. Look at it breaking. Oh, that's so nice. It's got a velvety. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of something I had in Disneyland. This is cherry mousse. Yeah, it reminds me of like a cherry mousse type of thing I had in Disneyland. It's got like a velvety crust on the outside. Let's try them together. That's real good. Mm. I might have to say this is better. I don't know. I think it's equal. Equal? Yeah, because... Let's call it a draw. Let's call it a draw. The search to see if anything can beat those two is on. I don't know, because that was so perfect as one thing, and this is such a cool mix of things. Uh -huh. I think it's a draw. It's a draw. Literally, just dropped my chocolate covered cherry again. Take you wonder by wonder Over sideways and under He's playing fun Disney songs. Thank you. I went ahead and got us both a frozen rusty nail cocktail because it has a nail in it. And I don't know if that's an edible thing. It doesn't explain what it is on the menu at all. Let's get this porter out of here. And I just thought, you know what? It looks cool. Nate's gonna want one too. So I got one for both of us. We got the rusty nails. And like I said, I don't know if it looks like an edible thing. I don't know. Oh, we're gonna try it. A rusty nail, huh? Yeah, it sounds great. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that's good. Oh, wow. It is kind yeah. of strong. It's like that, almost like that drink that you had at uh, Big Fire. Yeah, it's like cinnamony. Yeah, I taste a little apple. There's apple, there's cinnamon. It looks like apple juice. That's really interesting. Some bourbon in there, I think. Yeah, well. it's really good. It tastes really strong. I'm also still eating my pistachio cake dessert, and it, it really is true that you mix the mousse with the pistachio cake, and it's such a lovely blend of flavors of like a light nutty flavor with a tangy raspberry flavor. This is really, really good. I still do think for me, the rose is the winner, but this is second place. Are we gonna try to find out if this is edible? I'll just take a bite. I'm gonna try to take a bite, I guess. Hopefully it's not a rusty nail. Yep. Oh, it's edible. It's edible. I'm you heard that correct? It it's chocolate. <laughs> it's chocolate, nice. Now I'm stirring it in to get more chocolate into the drink. There you go. I wanna give a big shout out to my friend Jacob from Canada. Just met your parents, are awesome people. I hope you're having fun, and maybe I'll see you next time. Energetic studio work has made him a household name among Disney art collectors. A fusion of Americana and Warhol era pop art, his work has been exhibited across the globe. Please welcome to the stage, Disney fine art artist, Trevor Carlton. Hey guys, how you doing? It's photo time, let's do it.
And to have you cheer me on like that is so awesome. Thank you. It warms my heart. <laughs> Sign some stuff for you and say hello. Um, I have another show tomorrow at 12:30 and 5. Same as Sunday. So if you come back. Come on back. That was so much fun and so awesome. And he painted mini. What a beautiful painting. I hope someone really like that's really gonna appreciate it. Gets it. We just spent a long time in the World Show place. We had a ton of fun in here. Saw a ton of friends. And now it's time to go back out to the park and see what there is to see. It's time. It's time. Oh, it's cold too. Oh my gosh, I just noticed something. Look at that. There's like a big extending. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Okay, there's like a big moving arm thing. I don't know what is that is, but it's happening. That's definitely like something, like progress happening. Look, it's moving. It's swinging around. Whoa. I would not be surprised to see some sort of fountain testing or firework testing or something relatively soon. Uh, in fact, I'd be surprised if we didn't see some testing soon. Here's another art photo op, and this one is from last year too. So, Nate, why don't, why don't we go in there? Let's go be some art. What do you say? Come to get it! Hey, everybody, and welcome to our Taste of Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Woo! So we're going to call ourselves the Epcot Jam Chefs. <laughs> the Vibrante and Vivido booth in between France and Morocco is a new booth. And these options do sound really good, but I'm kind of full right now. So I'm going to walk a little bit more, space it out and then get something else and then maybe I'll come back for that because this is a month over a month long festival so we'll come back for it but just so you know it's brand new also here are some of the 2021 festival of the arts merchandise this is the new spirit jersey there's a hat a tumbler it looks like it's all covered in figment I always have to stop in the Japan pavilion whatever festival it is whatever booth or offering they have I know that I'm going to love it at the Goshiki booth they have the sushi donut, which I know that I love, so I'm definitely getting the sushi donut I tried last year and I know is delicious. All right, let's break our chopsticks and let's try this sushi donut. Just like kind of, kind of just grab a piece from in there. Just kind of break a piece off. Dip it in the sauce here. Good. The sushi donut is delicious. The sushi rice is cooked to perfection. There's just enough vinegar, just enough sauce, just enough of every like flavor to make it perfectly balanced. If you're a sushi lover, you're gonna like it, I think. Get it. Japan Pavilion wins again. We just found out that the final Voices of Liberty performance of the day is at 6.50 p.m. today, and that's right about right now. So we are actually gonna catch the brand new Voices of Liberty show specifically made for Festival of the Arts today. The Voices of Liberty. One, two, one. Concept <laughs> artists, illustrators, and animators fill the screen with life. Together, songwriters and animators can create worlds, define characters, and take audiences on unforgettable journeys. See the light where the sky is in the sea. See the light where the sky is in the sea. See the light where the sky is in the sea. Yeah. 
shaking and screaming, oh my god. They did Moana and then When You Wish Upon a Star. They just kill it every time. They are so good. I, I cry like every time I see them perform. Friends, They're amazing. At this time, oh. we must ask okay, we gotta go. That was amazing. Bye. So far, the taste of the Festival of the Arts has felt more like a full festival, like very robust, a lot of offerings. It doesn't feel as much of a like shortened festival or less of festival. It feels pretty darn full. A festival market booth and we've got the Figment Spirit jersey again and the festival t-shirt. I kind of really like it. I probably, probably gonna get it. I got it. Oh, you bought it. I got the shirt. <laughs> the food options in Painted Panda look amazing. I definitely want to come back for that. Oh, Wow, beautiful! Oh my gosh, it's so chilly out and the park closes in a little over half an hour so I think we've got time left for one more thing. It should definitely be a Grand Fiesta tour. Partly because it's warm in there. Oh, I feel the warmth. Oh. Oh, it's so warm in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you hear the people behind us no, talking about how warm so it is too. It is. Because it got really cold out, like surprisingly cold. All right, we're in. The last time we tried to get in here, we were actually turned away because they were full. They limit the amount of people allowed within the Mexico Pavilion. Oh look, they've also added some plexiglass in here. I didn't see that last time I was here. Interesting. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, the tight plexiglass corridors. Sure, thank you. Bienvenidos. For your safety, remain seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. And if you have children, please watch them. Gracias. Bienvenidos. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y pies. Supposed to be a hidden Mickey in the smoke of a volcano. Let's see if we can find it. Does anybody see it? I really feel like I've seen it before, but I don't see it right now.
heard Donald was having a little bit of a malfunction. Viva Donald, so you know, he'll be back, but let's see if he's back. The anticipation of waiting to see if he's there. Oh my gosh. Donald is having a malfunction and he's a point right now. Oh my gosh. That is weird. It was lovely to be here for the opening day of the Taste of Epcot International Festival of the Arts 2021. This is a fairly short festival. It goes on through February. And then on March 3rd, the Flower and Garden Festival starts. So it's pretty much like January, February Festival of the Arts, March Flower and Garden Festival moves right into it. While this festival is going on for this month and next month, we're gonna make the most of it. I will definitely be back to try more offerings, try more of the cool things that are going on, check out more of the art and more of the cool, like unique things that are happening. So if you have any special requests, anything that you want me to try experience wise or food wise, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to try it while this is going on. So with that, gonna make my way home. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's always a wonderful time sharing these experiences with you. I hope that you felt like you were here with me today having a great time kicking off the Festival of the Arts 2021. There are tons of fun adventures coming up, so make sure you stay tuned, and if you're new here, please subscribe to join in all the fun. I'm sending you all lots and lots of love. Thank you again so much for watching and joining me. I'll see you for the next video, and until then, as always, stay artful and stay enthused. Bye!